welcome to the video. So this is a, a live Facebook video which will go to my YouTube and Odyssey uh, video channels. And in this video is when I like touched the, the point about like physical looks and attraction and attracting the opposite sex and just overall bodily acceptance. So um, I'm like fifth. I am like I'm. I, my body, I am a soul and a spirit. My body always weighs the same these days. I always like 55 kg. It, it might gain or or lose like a pound or two, but usually it's like lose. <laughs> I'm very fit and strong. My body is fit, and strong, especially agile and nimble. I've got really good recall. Oh, all my life had really good reflexes and reflexes and um, and eye coordination. I was always very good at sports and, really, and athletic. So I have a really good body, like I really do in so many ways, but constitutionally it's not as strong as I like it. It's, it's the, it could be the, it's the weakest one in the family for some reason. I don't know why it's the weakest in my siblings, but um, I guess it helped me to focus predominantly on my spirituality as well. But I just want to say, like, even though I'm slim and I'm toned, but at one stage I wasn't toned. Like I was just kind of lost a lot of weight because I had a huge health crash in my early 20s. And I'm 39 now, young in the body. Thankfully, I still look, except for my a bit of burnt nose from being loving the sun so much. I got loads of sun today. Yeah, like I just over the years, I've learned to like love and accept and appreciate my body like far deeper. You know, I don't mind. I like the way I look. Like I, I don't want to like fit into how like this typical macho type of big big muscle looks. And some people just like big muscles because it's their passion. They like to exercise. Like I have a friend like that. But some, a lot of people, a lot of guys like to get, get muscular to attract girls, but that might be when you're a teenager in your 20s, possibly, or early 20s, but what I've come, it could be any age, of course, I have no judgment, but what I've learned is, um, like, obviously, you know, I'm in a relationship now for three and a half years, like, what you want is someone to love you for your spirit, your heart, your insides. Obviously, your insides help, your inside health, but I'm talking about your, your, you. you want, I want someone to love me, and thankfully my partner does. She's always been attracted to me. Like, she, she liked me physically, and thankfully, because you need, you need to like someone physically in a relationship, my friends. If you're dating, you don't want to just go out with someone you don't find attractive, or you find them unattractive. There's enough people who are attractive, who will fit your, like, you like them their spirit or their personality, their kindness, their compassion, their caring, their generosity, their friendliness, their creativity, their interests or passions or hobbies, the way they can forgive and let go of grudge or resentment, let go of anger, the people who are wise, you love them for all of these qualities. There's no, except for the experience which is great to learn from and to gain knowledge and wisdom. Apart from those things, once you've experienced that and I have, you don't wanna like you don't wanna get with someone just just simply because you know they're pure looks but you don't you don't like them as a person how they are at the moment. So real beauty is on the inside. And you know what? For me, health, natural health without tons of makeup, I I actually prefer like all my my girl, my partner is to be as natural and makeupless as possible, and I have to tell you, I basically always all have been. I don't wear any makeup. You know, I'm not against makeup. I'm not in favor of like the chemical makeup because that stuff's really bad for your skin and is absorbed like chemical lipstick, makeup, antiperspirant, deodorants. But anything like that is made from chemicals is just bad for your health. Bad for you. Make you look worse and be worse in your spirit because of the bad health effect. But there's lots of organic or natural, like plant based makeups you can get. If I was a woman, even as a guy, if I really wanted to, I could do myself up occasionally just to be creative and artistic and colorful because I love colors. But I haven't done it yet as a guy, but I'm not against it. I'd be happy enough to do that. Like, I don't mind. I put spirit in here before, I put a bit of turmeric once, maybe just for the pure laugh. There's nothing wrong with doing that. It's not gender specific, but um, I, I love it when a girl or a person can be comfortable with themselves. They like themselves, they love themselves, they appreciate their
their body, they appreciate themselves where they don't need a big prop, you know, like they don't rely on their dress, they don't rely on a piece of makeup or a mascara or a fake eyelash or nothing like that. They love their lips the way they are, they love themselves the way they are. That's very attractive to me. I love that. I find the more natural the girl, the life, the, the, the better. Like, that's just me. It's not the right way, it's not the only way, but it's just me. And I'm pretty flexible, like, um, I'm not sure how flexible I am exactly, but <laughs> I have a very specific preference in general. I also like when girls don't, like, trim or shave or wax their hair anywhere on their body. That's right. I like them with, like, natural, fluffier hair, little hairy armpits, and their, their yoni area, which is, like, meant to be haired up, and it's protected from getting a whole lot of dust in their vagina, and particles, or, like, whatever else. God or the spirit, the great, great spirit of the universe, put all the hair and the stuff on our bodies in these places, deliberately. So, I, I decided to give nature's way and let stop trimming and interfering with my hair like around five years ago and like a beard grew for the first time the beard grew I stopped interfering and I love it I have long hair but, you know it doesn't really matter like looks aren't the most important but I'm just talking on the topic so I decided to talk about it like what I love the most is I like a girl who like I like and appreciate all the girls and it doesn't matter what stage you're at in terms of me purely, like how I find girls attractive, it's it's kind of that way, you know. Like I won't get into all the specifics. I'm very particular. I'm very sensitive in life, and kind of particular and sensitive when it comes to like sort of the physical attraction. It's just it's just the way I am. Like I can't help it. Like there's certain body types and looks I just don't find attractive or even unattractive, and there's some I find like particularly very attractive. It's not something I've chose. It's just the way it is. It's the same way as I happen to be interested in females. It's just, I didn't choose it. I didn't think it in my mind. Exact same way. It's just the way I am. It's, it's a mixture of various things. Energy, hormones, and neurotransmitters. And energy. But, uh, yeah. So, I just want to accept... I want to say that like, it's really important to accept ourselves. <sighs> just slow down a little bit. Like if our body is temporarily fat, fattish, fatty. I know it's a bit of a trigger word. I don't mean anything bad towards anyone. Um, or if it's too slim, or it's called skinny, or like whatever way you think. And accept how we are mentally. Like if we're really fast or slow, or if we're emotionally or physically sensitive, or like in the process of healing, which could be called emotionally oversensitive. That just means we're in the process of healing old traumas that haven't been healed yet. Just love and accept ourselves the way we are. And, love, and when we love and accept ourselves the way we are, we will get better loving and accepting others the way they are. But we can also start the other way around. We can practice loving and accepting others the way they are, if that's easier. And little by little, try and, like, try and bring it on to us, where we get better at loving and accepting ourselves the way we are. It feels wonderful to be free and comfortable in our own skin and we're not afraid. Like, I go around barefoot. I go around wearing a tiny pair of shorts, or rolled up shorts, and it's, like, tiny. And um, topless. So, like... Like an almost like a tribesman, <laughs> a nude man, almost. Because I'm not. I'm still wearing my covering my hip area. I never offend people. Like I'm not trying to annoy anyone or stand out. And I respect people, but you got to be free. I don't constrain myself constantly to fit it, fit into other people's like limitations. But I don't do the opposite either. Whereas I just carelessly like. You know, parade in front of people or on their property or nothing like that, you know. A lot of this is about healing, where we are on a healing journey, and a lot of it's also just mixed common sense and just caring. So, yeah, that's all I really want to say, I suppose. There's so much we can talk about about this topic. Go on and on. In terms of dating, I think it's good to get to know other people, date a few people maybe at the same time, or one or two, or three, or whatever. Don't get too attached too soon. Don't lead people on or lie. So be honest, don't lead people on. And leading people on is kind of like lying. If you accidentally feel your heart, if you feel your heart is drawn towards one person, like only, then you kind of say, oh, I love you, or something. But then you have a change of heart, just be honest and let the person know, you know? Like, we all, we make mistakes. 
our, our moods change, but don't be like flippant or reckless or careless with other people's feelings or your own. So do, do, do the best you can. You can't do better than our best. And, li- and learn, live and learn. So try and make up for any little mistakes as well. Be extra caring for other people's hearts. Compassion, understanding and kindness. So yeah, dating is important. In the same way as if you want to rent an apartment or, or buy a house, it's good to look around so you can compare. You want to see which one suits you best. And that's not being mean to the people who don't suit you best. Maybe they'll learn that you don't suit them best. Sometimes one person likes it, another person more, that's okay. But anyway, I won't talk too much about that because it's a different topic. So I hope this video helps you out loads and uh, lots of love. And I hope you have a beautiful day. Thanks for watching. If you need any coaching, herbs, herbal discount at my herb store. If you want to, if you if you love my books or my video course that are coming up soon, or if you want to befriend me on social media, I'd love to hear from you. Join, connect, collaborate, and I'd love to hear from you if you want to like stay in touch, be friends, anything like that. If you're going to befriend me on Facebook, for example, do like or share or comment on my posts. Otherwise, it'll just disappear into the algorithm. And I'll never, you'll never see my posts. Um, and then I may end up accidentally unfriending you because what's the point if you never see my posts anyway? And uh, the algorithms of the censorship on YouTube and Facebook and things have just gone a bit off the charts. So, uh, yeah, just love me who I am. Totally 100%. Very happy, super happy with life. Fulfilled, grateful. Blessed, and rich and abundant in so many ways, and I'm fulfilled and satisfied. And there's so much more to come, it's not the end, it's just the beginning in many ways. And that's the way it is for everybody, to be always changing. Talk to you soon, lots of love. Bye bye.